Viper isn't really renowned for hitting towers. That's, and you already see this block on the catapult to make sure it does make it there in one piece. Mm -hmm. Huh? Handskin. Well, that's that's a stationary core and that's no boots for the Storm. And now Storm's in a lot of trouble. He's got reinforcements for here. It's actually Viper going down. They bring a hell of a lot here as the Spectre haunts in. He does see the Phoenix as well. Looks like Hanskin should be able to get away, but barely. But that okay? was our first blood. He has no boots. Oh, he might ew, actually even yeah, fall he's, here. He, okay, he's gone. He's definitely gone. We're top. He's in trouble. He was pressuring the tower, and now he's going to be the one getting pressured here. Zayas has the blast off. He wants to steal the kill. But instead, he'll let no one have it. And while that happens... Bottom lane? Yep. Both off lanes going down. POE. He was playing uh, against the environment. Hey, Pop Exiles has PvP. It's just terrible. No one plays it. That was uh, a rough rock in cent center. Okay. I mean, he has got the Hood of Defiance, but he's trying his luck a little. What about Zayas? Is he about to fall? Yep. He's, he, his Corey goes, and then he dies as well. This is like a really depressing ending to the John Wick movie, where both the owner and the pet die. You know, shift a little bit bottom lane. Going in. Silence is there. Life feels controlled up, and he is gone. That is a nice move coming out from the side of Verse Pro. That life steal alone will beat oh, the jump. living crap out of everyone. Oh, the jump is in return deep, on their tool. He's fine. He's confident with this right now, but for how long? They're going to control him up. The pipe, my friend. The pipe, it mildly tickles. He throws out the call. He's holding on to it. And they did use the fatal bonds, but they're not quite right now. Zayas, oh, the oh, backstab oh. coming out. The exit going to go down and immediately they jump on top of it. Phoenix already dead. And now with the stampede, they'll plow straight for Alliance and run them down. The infest bomb out, trying to do the damage. Turn around on the storm will bring him down. Finally, S4 hits the deck. RTW down to half HP, and Rezo just trying to retreat towards the mines, but they'll still get the kill. They drop the rock now onto Viper and Nico, baby. The two harder kills. Can they achieve either of them? RTW will just TP away as he goes, wait, you guys are tanky, you do hit hard, but you have no stunts. Over the map, some some uh, mines, which is what he's doing most of the time anyway. Well, he breaks the smoke yeah, of Yeah, they'll break each other's smoke there. Limp already moving past. They see a better target, or an easier one at least. Warlock will be brought down. Um, I mean, if you're a Viper, you could, right? You have Essence Ring and you have Corrosive Skin. How much do you care about Techies? Of course, he can kill you, but it's not but... going to be that easy. Yeah, he needs a lot of mines. I, I love your, like, carelessness to life. It's like, nah, I live it on the edge. Sure, he could kill me, but I could also kill him. And the only one dying on this moment might be FNG, or is he? So tanky and uh oh Storm out of mana here. Needs an out. Stampy's running out soon. He's got enough for one ball line. And no, he doesn't get high enough. Oh, they catch him on the low ground. They'll bring him down. That is a very, very sad Storm Spirit. Uh, Phoenix just messed everything up. Oh, an alliance that just a little bit quicker. And as a result, now they are back on BP side of the map on the high ground, knocking at the door. Damn, Nico is huge. He's yeah. about to finish a halberd as well. I, I mean, he's not as much knocking on doors, firing it down. Here's the batter and ram for Lance. They move in and get a pick off already. That means no rock for 30 seconds. Force going to be used right now, but the jump of the blast off the silence off three. They're going to move this side. Hanskin has got the egg, but that silence lasts so long. However, there is not enough damage out of BP, and instead, Techies will join the other support in the grave on the side of Vars Pro. The Alliance now have so, the keys to the base. Just so, so much sustain on the side of Alliance. They got every item they needed, everything working in their favor, and they're also playing really, really well against the Techies. Oh, most definitely. Yeah. It's, they're, they're not giving him time to set anything up, right? That's the most important part. It's across the map. Phoenix? Phoenix? All right, that's He's the gone. one he did set up. I, he had been there a long time, but they just realized that, like, okay, there's no way he set up another trap elsewhere, so in we go. It's a big one. He do, they don't have the egg to work with now, but on the side of VP, you don't really have anything, <laughs> right? You you have the rock, I guess. But no horn but to go horn, with it. Yeah. They have everything but the horn, pretty much, but Stomp. that's their everything. Oh, and fail bonds. They drop the rock right now. They'll be able to bring down Shen. So both supports and alliance now dead, and the core's in a little bit of trouble. The bomb's going down, so that's going to give his life. Nico Baby raised up, hitting into whatever he can. The pool comes out. S4 spins. He's going to land that to get some kills in return. Limp does go down. Nico Baby Damn. lost one stand, but there's nothing they can do here. Aegis is gone, and now when it comes back up, it's quite the mess for Nico Baby. Controlled up, Ray still in cooldown for one more second, and it won't be enough. Double kill for ILTW, BP hold the base. 
when you have them there, you can pull someone in, let's say, with a storm or something like that. Bait them. No. Oh, good they're call. pulled into a bait here. The lines jump in. The horn's going to come out, but no one. Can they actually do enough here? Storm's trying to move away. Lone HP can't hang around too long. The egg on the side, they're not paying attention to it, though. Sides going to be brought down. The disarm comes out. Suspector so can't deal with it either. Will be stunned up down to half HP, and the sun ray will burn him down to an early death. 80 seconds on the sideline for your Spectre. Your combo was used, but Alliance holds strong. And that says no. There's not enough mines there. He's done the map, so I don't even know how you count with that many little balls flailing around top of each other. Rezo goes in, Stomp comes out, and there you go. It's not enough to kill him off, and the heal follow up, the Sun Ray, everything. They have not got anywhere near enough damage. Syat's just going to be brought down, and this, this is getting close to the end for VP. Maybe one more good fight, and 25 seconds still horn. Golem gone for a lot longer, though. No one, lower mana needs to be careful himself. S4 will go for the call on the Warlock. No chance. You actually get more fail bonds shenanigans out. No one just about has enough mana to ball lightning away. But your axe, they have no way of moving away from this fight. It's coming to them. Rezo the Stampede to try and slow them down. But the Sunray, I don't think you're even putting a dent in this side. I think this is the moment where maybe you consider just typing two letters in and refreshing and going anew. They still, they still have haunt. I think they give it another go. One last two rough. This fails, it's all done. However, they might actually lose the Warlock before that. He's being brought down. They cut the back line. They will find a kill in the chain, but can they find more? No one's already out of mana. He needs to be careful. They might identify this. Some Ray Undo is going to burn him low. So one for one trade, but that definitely hurts BP a little bit more. They were count on maybe actually having that rock in 20 seconds. They have a lot of mines here, but yeah, they're being deleted. Yep, now Nico Bay is like, okay, time to hit creeps and heal up again. We're going to back away. The Alliance, they're going to respect the S4. He might consider going in. They actually do control him up. Lurs is there. No one needs to be careful himself about this. But on the side, Limp, he gets separated from the team to jump in. The best bomb comes out. They don't hear anyone with the call, but now with the slows on the Rezo, he's definitely going down here. No one can't even try to risk to help. He has to get out. The disarm on his Spectre means she can't either. And they're chasing forward onto her neck, trying to bring her down. they got open wounds in two seconds. Can she get out? Dagger, open wounds is going to be there, and the creeps will spot out. The egg as well, along with the root. That's going to be the Spectre down for 85. Five acts straight away, and no one in the meantime will top S4. S4 goes to the cool, but there'll be a move away. It doesn't matter. GG gets called. Yeah. VP are destroyed by Alliance in game one. This uh, Faceless Void actually is really good versus the Void Spirit and the Weaver. I, I don't even think it's that bad. I, I honestly believe anything can work in this game. It's yes. not about the rank. It's about how you play around it and how good you are with what you're playing. Sometimes the worst hero in the meta can be very good. Bottom lane S4. Gonna go down. There you go. They get the kill. LTW will live. Meanwhile, on the top lane, there is a little bit of a battle going on. Inkspo is gonna come out, but the bash is straight away. Nice time walk across by Nico, baby. Rezo, he is fast enough to move away. Zayat's how he gets bashed once. No RNG. He used it all up on Rezo. But if he gets bashed once and then three more times, he's gonna die. Is that what you were, you were gonna say? Hey, don't give Grimstroke that much credit, okay? He's, he's a very, very small boy when he hasn't got his spells available. It's, it's definitely proven problematic. I mean, you haven't really got a support that is gonna be present on your lane at all times either, right? Shaker is that type of support that wants to move around the map and away from the lane. Yeah, Shaker is also the reason why you know, he dies there because obviously Beastmaster does go out of position, but Hans can use that Fissure very, very early. Oh, look at this. But maybe here. There you go. That's the way you use the Fissure. They dive the tower, they'll look for the kill, and no one is going to tick out. And while that's happening, Grimstroke in the top lane does go down. That's I love how S4 rotates in as well. It's really important for them as well to chuck at this tier 1 for as much as possible to take it down early because it will open up the map a lot and it will be easier to hunt down this Naga. But the response from Virtus Pro is also brilliant because they send Naga bottom and this Weaver that's had a really good lane and the bottle can now chill around mid lane, farm, probably uncontested, and then also take all the runes that spawn. Ooh, uh, well, Alliance are going to take someone else. They do find a kill in the solo. In the top lane, some pressure coming out. Nico Baby hasn't got six yet, so good luck killing Rezo instead. Nico Baby oh. might go down himself. Oh, we said even time walk the... was good. Yeah, yeah he, they gave him mid, and he already had like uh, 1,400 gold. Now, he did only go for brown boots. Oh. Well, this Shaker has tranquils and stick. And this Shaker is nowhere near the fight that's occurring right now. FNG throws down the Ice Path. It does connect on the Void Spirit. And Void Spirit will chase forward. S4 couldn't get the Prime Aurora out, though. Rezo quick to move away with the Astral Step. 
Meanwhile, they actually do find a decent target with that Shaker. LTW running away. He's going to tick down low, but he will not die. Likely, they'll just let him be. In fact, actually, they won't. Hanskin, <sighs> you can see it. He's just like, I just want to hit creeps, bro. Come on. I've got 500 gold towards this blink. It's the it's the reliable initiation that it brings to Team mm -hmm. of Alliance, to, to Alliance, oh, right? Oh. Uh, that, that's what it brings. This it's happening again. This is so good from VP. They'll just move in and clean him up again. They fire and forget, and Limp does arrive in time to get Zayats. But Rezo gets away with it once more. Mm -hmm. It's, it's there. Zayats. Yeah. Yep. Wants to contribute some damage. Prono's going to go down on, on the Weaver, and they've got enough to kill him off. Perfect pick, the one that I actually wanted as well. I don't see those jokes you're talking about, by the way, but maybe <laughs> FNG will fall. Well, that's because Alliance were the ones doing the jukes when they were playing the Weaver. So, the problem is, you know, Nico Baby already knows how a Weaver does his juke. And S4, uh oh, War is being used against them. He has got that Primal Roar, and they can fight this right now. Primal Roar is going to come out. Nico Baby doesn't actually want to help anymore, though. In fact, he, sure. he just needs to what? leave. Why are they not going for Void there? They were very passive. Now, okay, there is a tier, it's tier 2, not even a tier 1. A but... song. Yeah, I'm actually surprised they didn't go for the Void because they know he has no Chrono. He used mm -hmm. it earlier on the Weaver. And, and you have not Snare. Right? Not just that. So... Also, they know there's no... That the full force isn't there. Look at Hanskin, who is now going to die top. So I guess they just saw more value in making Hanskin's life even sadder. But they knew Shaker was top the entire time, so they knew they always had number advantage. He's going to chrono you for a really long time. And also, he's going for Mjolnir. I was thinking maybe he'll go for Axe this game. I have seen a lot of... Oh, oh mid lane, Nico Baby. For Nico Baby. The BKB gets forced out straight away. The Soulbind is only onto him and no one is close enough because Limp can stay out of range. So that's to be brought down. Rezo we chased on to next. They've got the Raw, but they don't have the range right now. Hanskin has the Blink, however. And that will give them the range they need. Okay, they'll save the Primal Roar. Nico Baby does not hesitate to throw out that Chrono for a kill to Rezo who's on the kill streak. Need to be careful though, because S4, he's on a hunt and he sees them with the Hawk. Yeah, and Hanskin, he's got that blink. Like, this is the thing. The vision in conjunction with the Shaker's initiation potential was good. And Zayas be brought down. Soulbind's going to be there. They need to be careful though. Hanskin is waiting for his opportunity to jump right now. No one will chase him. There's the Echo Slam on the Illusions. Well done to half HP already. The BKB gets out by Nico Baby moves in. He'll look for the kill. The buyback comes out on the Grimstroke. They've already lost both the Daga and the Void Spirit. And that won't be all they'll lose. Solo is going to be brought down. The rest of VP do retreat. But you're right about the damage side of things, right? This double diffuse. It's not like you're playing against this Lashrak or some of the huge mana pool. We saw it on Limp, right? When both diffusal carriers melted his mana pool, he still had like a quarter of his life and they knew they couldn't finish it. Now Alliance. They're going to look to finish the builds. They do have to move up to the high ground temporarily. They've got the Chrono to play with, so they don't even have to feel that threatened here. And you already see VP. They're just splitting the map. LTW pushing top. No one farming the Die Jungle. And Limp just role playing a machine gun right now. Yeah, and he hits so hard with this Viper. He has the talent for 100 attack range. This Ooh. solo might be dead. Yep. Will he die solo, though? Ooh, Nico Baby. He's just baiting. He's toying with him. He, yeah, he wasn't going to chrono there. It's just a, it's just a bait. No, because if you chrono and they have buybacks, then all of a sudden you have to leave. If you do this instead, they always remember that you have chrono. Well, he wants to catch a kill on his eyes. He actually needs to be careful. The ink swell might hit him up, but oh, there it is. Limp with the kill secure. It's, it's pretty much now or never. You're... You really need to take a good fight. That moment where the Aether Remnant somehow hits the creep behind Void is a painful moment. Maybe you yeah, could burn it down BKB Chrono straight away without hesitation. In on the Naga Siren and no one being bashed up. She's going to be brought down dead for 50 seconds. No buyback. And they will realize that very quickly. About to run out. The Aegis mm -hmm. will run out in 10 seconds. They timed that so perfectly well on the side of Alliance. Hey, this is keys to the base. You know, this is going to be a second lane. Of course, the other lane is protected by tier two. Okay. Might be keys to more at this rate. Weaver's brought down the primary wall. Haven't been thrown out. Rezo trying to move away. That's all your spells use. The time dilation hurts him a little bit, but he's still got cooldowns even when he gets rid of it. He's gone. Zayat. They're like, kill after kill. Wherever we go, we find something to murder <laughs> and they'll okay, go okay. back. 
That's GG. a GG. That's a GG well played. That's a GG. Hands can, right now, when he whacks someone with that totem, he's like, Nyeh! every single time because they killed him so many times in that lane. Like, I think he died five times before he got, four or five times before he got his blink dagger.